The Chief Executive Officer of the 2017 Rugby League World Cup, Michael Brown, is in PNG. Brown is accompanied by a team of organisers who are here to speak with PNG Rugby League on matters of the World Cup. Bradley Gregory has more. Three of the 2017 Rugby League World Cup group games will be played in PNG. Sports Minister Justin Techenko and City Governor Poe Spakop and PNG Rugby League Chairman Sandy Staka went to Australia recently to welcome the news. Now it's time for preparation and planning towards the world event. A team of organisers from Australia, headed by Rugby League World Cup CEO Michael Brown, are in Port Mosby. We're starting to put together the backroom stuff that needs to happen. Um, where will we play? Where will the team stay? We'll meet with all the key stakeholders. We will have a steering committee set up here in, in Papua New Guinea. They will have local people working on that steering committee to deliver an outstanding Rugby League World Cup in 2017. PNG is the only country on the planet in this solar system that calls Rugby League its number one sport. Hosting this big event is a milestone for the country. Brown says the game is not only about Rugby League, but bringing together the different cultures that share the game. You'll have the opportunity to reach out to America, to Europe, to England, to show people what a great country this is and what great steps this government has made to make it successful. And I'm really excited about getting people to come to Papua New Guinea and celebrating rugby league in probably the only country in the world where it's its national sports. The special meeting between PNG League and the World Cup organisers started today and ends tomorrow. Bradley Gregory, NBC National News, Put Mosby.